Alright guys, on this video, I'm going to show you how to display on the LCD using a Raspberry Pi. As you can see, we have a, a LCD, jumper cables, breadboard, and our friend Raspberry Pi. So let's first write the code. Then second, we're going to connect. I'm going to show you how to connect. First thing that we need to do, we import the libraries. Then we define GPIO's pins for LCD connection. Then the other step that we need to do is to, is to define the LCD parameters. After defining the LCD parameters, so as you can see on the LCD parameters, there we have number of characters per line, LCD RAM uh, address for the first line and LCD RAM address for the second line. All right, then we define timing constant. After defining time constant, it's time for us to set up the GPIOs pins as outputs like RS pin, LCD E for enable, LCD D4 up to D7. Those are data lines. Then after GPIOs, setting up the GPIOs, that will, then what we need to do right now is to initialize the display. That's why you see those numbers 0x33, 0x32, 0x06. Those are hex numbers. So it's part of initializing uh, the, the display to tell your LCD um, where to write, like on the first block, because your LCD is 16 by 2. So when it's 16 by 2, what's happening there is that we have a first line and the second line. So that 2 is for the, the rows, first row and second rows. So we have 16 columns. Okay, so it must write, you tell it where to write, start writing. Then after that, we send bytes to data pins. We send bytes to data pins so that we can ex uh, display our, our, our message. Okay guys, um, this is our Raspberry Pi for pin connection. So normally when I connect, I use this. So um, remember, yeah, I'm going to connect my fan on this one, number four and number six. I'm going to connect my fan. Then on here, I'm going to connect pin number two of the LCD. Then this one, I'm going to connect pin number one of the LCD, which is uh, VSS, okay? Then for pin number three, I connected a resistor for contrast. Then I put a wire on the other side or on the other terminal of the resistor. Then I connect it to ground. That's pin number three of the LCD. Then pin number four, which is the RS. Pin number four, which is the RS. So I connect it to number seven, GPI 07. So you can check on your code where I, it, it says uh, RS, uh, the RS underscore RS, which is GPI 0 number seven. Then we have uh, number five. Number five, I'm going to connect it to this ground, which is pin number 30. Pin number five of the LCD goes here on this ground. Then pin number six of the LCD, we're going to connect it to, where is it? Yeah, pin number four, which is GPIO number eight, GPIO eight, which is enable pin, pin number six. All right, those last two pins, pin number 16 and pin number uh, 
15 15 and 16 those are for the backlight so let's uh, connect the pin from pin number 15 we connect it to 3.3 volt then the other pin which is pin number 16 of the lcd we take it to ground this one yeah. then we go to pin number 14 uh, yes 14 which is d7 lcd d7 we connect it to gpio number 18 where is it this one so if you are looking for it you just count it like this one two three four five six pin number six this side it's for gp is for lcd underscore d7 so lcd underscore d6 is pin number 23 which is this one gpio 23 to lcd which is pin number 13 of the lcd so pin number 12 which is lcd underscore d5 we connect it to pin number of gpio 24 then the last one that which is uh, pin number 11 uh, lcd underscore d4 so pin number 25 so connected to 25 which is lcd underscore yes and that's all so if you connect it in a right way or if you are confused just go back just go back and listen very careful what i'm saying then you run your code after running your code then you will see it will display your message now it's time to connect so the first thing that we need to do is to connect our lcd on the breadboard like that then we connect our wires on the breadboard which is connected to the lcd then we take those jumper wires to our raspberry pi so make sure your raspberry pi uh, the power is off because you don't need to connect while the power is on And that's it uh, for our video, guys. Uh, see you on the next one.